What's up, guys? Naftastic. Before we do anything else, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Just smash it. Just smash it, smash it, smash it. I'm asking you. Even if you don't like it, hit that like button. <laughs> okay. I got um, some two suns. I think there's two in here and one in here. I don't know the numbers of these. I can't remember. But after I open them up and show them to you, I will put a link in the description in the chi in the title of what they are so you'll know what they are. And these are ones that have been out for a little while. These are some budgeters. I think there's some a wood one and some G10, I believe. Can't remember. But hey, they're ones I've been wanting and we're going to get into this. So let's get into this. Going to open them up with the Wee Banter. I hear there's a banter baby coming I wish there was a banter daddy or a banter mama coming I wish there was a bigger version of this this is a great knife I got this from my good buddy Winchester Inc thank you Johnny um, but yeah I want to get one of these in a larger size and I was thinking about modifying this uh, I think I said something to the knife whisperer one time in one of his videos that this would look so good and work so good as a front flipper. I believe if this little bit of this area right here was removed and some jimping was added right here, that this thing could really front flip easy. I know the front flipper craze is sort of yay or nay, but I love front flippers and I think this knife would work really well as a front flipper and just front flipper liner locks work great because you're not squeezing the lock bar like on some frame locks but anyway that's off topic so let's get into this we'll get into the single one first ah that's sharp ain't it okay we'll get these packages out of the way all right one at a time tucson great box man just don't you don't you just love this presentation these boxes are so high quality and i don't know how they do it Okay. Ooh. This one might be a titanium one. I think it is, y'all. I know it's covered and laved in oil. I'm trying to get into this without scratching it up. They tape them up good. Should have got my rag. I'm gonna need it. Let's see. I got one here somewhere. There it is. There's one. All right. Talking of front flippers, this is a front flipper. Get all this oil off of it. This is a little smaller than I imagined, but it's pretty cool. This is a Wong Din Zen design. And these are strictly going to be just a quick show and tell because I got quite a few packages I'm going to go through in this video if I'm going to try to. So you have the thumb stud which is a unique blade shape with a nice forward finger control. This is a really nice feeling in the hand. It's an odd one. And then you have a great function in front flipper. This is pretty cool, y'all. I'm digging this. Looks like a nice function in pocket clip with these titanium inserts that could probably be changed out for various inserts if you wanted to... Um, possibly change it up and maybe I could make some get some fat carbon or something put in here that would look pretty cool or any kind of mod you know some of that refer I've done I think this this knife has endless mod capabilities and I really love thumb studs and I really love front flippers and it's got both of them and even though it's a small knife in hand my, my hands fall right in their place I have medium-sized hands 
and this blade it just falls it's a good user nice slicer feels nice and thin behind the edge yeah I'm digging it I like this one I don't is this the 255 I don't know so on to the next because I have quite a few packages to do I don't know if I'm gonna do them all or just the two sons we'll find out as we go all right now got some tape on the banter one two it's Christmas time y'all I have Christmas time too much too much I'm a, I'm a bad boy I'm a bad boy I got a knife problem y'all ooh yeah this is the Burlwood G10 black wash liners number 22 I believe now the burrow always looks different though I've seen the one in the picture it's got much more of a marbled effect in the burrow I'm thinking this is Burl, right? Pocket clip looks, um, I believe this knife would be much better suited, even though this clip functions good. On this classy looking of a knife, to me it's a classy looking knife. You know, it is what it is. I believe an upgraded clip would be suited on this knife well. So you have the option to open it with the thumb, but I don't really... I can't do that so pretty much because I'm not a good thumb flicker but wow okay that just rocketed out of there and this is a Tepe design I love Sean Hassan's work beautiful looking knife I like the black wash I did not realize I seen it on the blade but I didn't realize the liners were black washed and I'm guessing that's a G10 backspacer I think maybe I could make a custom backspace for this to give that some contrast in there maybe make one out of some wood I got some babinga wood at the work give it some contrasting a couple different kinds of wood but that flew right out of there nice sharp and churl nice medium or this is really a small knife I guess Wow, that thing is the, listen to that, that sounds great. That is awesome. Okay. And this is number 22. I don't know if you guys can see that in there. Ouch. I just stabbed myself. Look, I'm bleeding. See? A knife is not a knife until it cuts you. And what happened was, is I spun that open right there and it caught me in the palm. So depending on how you hold it, you definitely gotta be careful. So, I'm just too excited to cut myself wide open, you know? And that's gonna be a bleeder. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to get a band-aid for that because it's wanting to sieve. But anyway, that's the two sons. Oh, nope. I got one more over here, don't I? I should have had a band -aid. I should keep band-aids right here on the table because I need them, right? Good Lord. How would that look, the table being covered in blood all over here? That would look good. Okay, now we have another one. Let's see if I can get into this one without bleeding. All right, this is the G10 one. Trying to keep pressure on it to get the bleeding to stop.
that's pretty nice it's got the G10 with the carbon fiber overlay with the recessed nested liners 14C 28N the typical deep carry pocket clip by Tucson a G10 or plastic backspacer this is a rattlesnake design a harpoon blade with some nice jimping this is the bigger knife and that is the Tucson unboxing and of all these I like them all and I'm gonna cut my other hand <laughs> we got the burl tepe and the Wong and Zen. So we got three two sons. And I'm tickled. I like all three of them. Even the one that bit me. Hey, in the comments, y'all leave um, how often y'all regularly get cut with your knives. Be it your fingers or your hands. I get cut at work a lot, especially on my fingers because I'm a machinist and I'm dealing with sharp parts and burrs and stuff and just random working, you know, little accidents happen but that one got me good it's still trying to sieve seep and it's right there in the meat of my palm so without further ado that is the two sons of the day thanks for checking this video out stay tuned I'm gonna upload about three or more three or four more videos for you I might do all in one or a couple different ones but I got some knives back that I had on, out on loan I got a knife that I got in a trade from one of my spider codes I had um, yeah and I got a knife from the LTK Tucson sale so y'all stay tuned remember smash that like button it'll help stop the bleeding <laughs> I'm serious, it will. If you hit the like button, my bleeding won't be as bad. This is Naftastic. Rodney, you know me. God bless y'all. Till next time. Keep those edges right. Bye now.